Star Wars 7x7 episode 2717. It's a What to Watch Saturday, and we've got more Book of Boba Fett footage. They keep adding little pieces of things, and so we're going to check in on what's new and what's really new. It's Return, that's the name of the new piece, and it's actually a full minute long as opposed to the 30 second one, so let's dig into it. Punch it. <laughs> Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So, with the Return video being released on social media, there was a little intro to it saying, Return to the Sands of Tatooine. And that was kind of fun. Like, I, I can't help laughing about that because we're always on Tatooine, it seems like. I mean, I did run the numbers. Six out of the 11 live action movies and four out of the 16 live action episodes of The Mandalorian have had Tatooine in them. Like, we've been on Tatooine for some of the action. So, I mean, we're really there very often and when you think about the book of Boba Fett so we're gonna have seven episodes there and I will guess that probably a fair number of them are gonna take place on Tatooine at least you know at some portion and then of course the Kenobi series right that's at least gonna start and probably end on Tatooine we know that he's gonna leave at some point but yeah man I think it is really official for live-action Star Wars storytelling we go to Tatooine more than we do any other planet and it's not even close and speaking of returning <laughs> to things it does seem like this return video returns to footage that we've seen previously but it does in some places add like just a few frames more to things similar to how we were talking about the the book of Boba Fett trailer where you get to see Jennifer Beals as that Twi'lek of some importance and then later on in the message video they show that same scene but it looks like they add a couple frames so suddenly as opposed to just seeing her talking to another Twi'lek it's like you're actually seeing her have a reaction to something possibly Possibly Boba Fett's entry into the building, for example. So let's run down what we see, and we'll go real quick through the stuff that we've seen before, and we'll take a little more time with the stuff that's new or extended. For example, it kicks off with the Tusken Raiders wandering through the desert again. Same thing we've seen. First new thing that jumps out is Boba Fett creeping up on a ridge and overlooking Jabba's palace, but it also looks like the backside of the palace where the garage entrance is, presumably. This is where he is about to go down and try to recover his spaceship. That's what it seems like is probably happening, and we saw from the previous footage that he's in that garage space with Fennec Shand, but in this particular shot, we don't get to see Fennec, so we don't know if this is the shot right before they're in the garage, or if this was him doing some reconnaissance separately, that is a question that still remains to be answered. Then we get more time with him in that underwater maybe it's Bakta, maybe it's not situation, and then more time of him getting dressed afterward. So I unfortunately have lost where I had this. I had a note about a comment that I received, and I apologize because I want to give credit where credit was due, but there was a suggestion that maybe this isn't a Bakta tank situation, that maybe this is an example of a Twi'lek healing bath. So if you go back to season one of The Mandalorian episode three, when... Uh, you know, when Grogu's been turned in and Mando's got the best scar and he meets with Grief Karga and tries to get his next job and Grief is like, hey, you know, let's go to the Twilight Heaving Baths, right? So, yeah, that's a great suggestion and seems certainly relevant, especially since we have Jennifer Beals and, you know, looking like she's doing something important, like maybe that's her business, for example. So, uh, yeah, I liked that idea a lot and it was not my idea, so I just want to make sure that I <laughs> state that much at least even though I'm so sorry, I cannot find who it was that had said that to me. Then it jumps to a brief flash of the end of season two of The Mandalorian and the stinger that we get with Fennec Shan sitting on the throne with a bottle of spotchka. So that goes real quick. And then we get a shot of a spaceship flying over the city. This is a brand new shot. And the ship does certainly seem to have kind of a, a you know, not necessarily Millennium Falcon look to it, but 
has similarities, right? That sort of YT freighter kind of look and something that definitely looks more advanced comparatively speaking to <laughs> what the Millennium Falcon is. But yeah, brand new as far as anybody knows so far. Then we get Boba and Fennec walking on that city street, heading to that building that we saw previously, then going through some curtain doorway we saw previously. We see Jennifer Beals again. We could see Slave One flying at what looks to be either sunset or sunrise just going across the horizon and uh, it doesn't necessarily look like Tatooine in this particular case but of course it is a little hard to tell and then another shot of the dinner that he's having again and he stands up and everybody looks at him and that's all the same then we get another look at that swoop bike situation and suddenly now it doesn't look like Boba Fett is in this thing at all I know I had said that previously it looked like he was the one in the lead because I was looking at that bald head and they give us the different view this time so we're not just looking at it from the back we're seeing them from the front and we're seeing that there are a lot of these swoop bikes like nine of them at least is how many I counted in the, <laughs> in the little video there so yeah that's a whole other situation and then it cuts to a scene where it looks like a couple of the folks that are like the folks who are riding those swoop bikes are harassing a couple of people inside some sort of structure and Twitter is all a buzz about this and there have been pictures of Cammy and Fixer from the deleted scenes of A New Hope because there seems to be some resemblance certainly with Fixer's costume in the you know the stuff that he's wearing to one of these people that's being harassed so yeah I mean that would be something wouldn't it and then of course that brings up the question of whether we're in Tosh uh, excuse me Toshi Station somehow and the door opens during that harassment and you get to see a shadow being projected and it's Boba, but it is not an armored Boba. It is a pre-Mandalorian armor Boba. So yet another indication that we are in sort of flashback territory, just like when he was climbing up on that ridge to overlook Jabba's palace and the garage entrance, right? And then it cuts to him coming through the door and he's wearing this sort of torn up white jumpsuit-ish thing and the collar on it does look like it's the same collar that was throwing the shadow in, in the previous scene when the door opened and he's got a gaffy stick with him already but the fact that he's not fully robed or whatever like it does make you wonder how far back into the flashbacks we are with this like is this really early on after his escape from the sarlacc pit don't necessarily know just yet then we get another scene that is definitely <laughs> this time a chase scene it seems like i know i had talked about the swoop bike scenes and wondered whether that was actually a chase that was happening well there's a land speeder type thing a little squared off compared to say Luke's land speeder, for example, and a couple of single seater bikes, one bright red, one bright blue with its chassis. And it kind of has sort of a souped up hot rod kind of feel to them. The two of them do. And they are following fast behind that land speeder. So, uh, yeah, that seems more like a chase, especially when it then plows into a pit droid that tries to collapse itself to stay unscathed, but not quite, doesn't quite have the low enough clearance to be able to duck underneath the land speeders it passes by and it gets whacked. Then there's a quick moment of Fennec Shand pulling a knife out of the butt end of her rifle and flicking it in a very deadly fashion, presumably. It looks like this is happening in the throne room, and something that I hadn't noticed previously with the dinner scene is that that's taking place in the throne room as well, and it looks like they're setting up tables over the, <laughs> the drop of the Sarlacc pit, so that's kind of fascinating. Like, if you look carefully, it looks like it's the back of the throne that you're seeing at the very like foreground of the shot out of focus. I said Sarlacc Pit, and I should have said Rancor Pit. Sorry about that. I'm probably going to do it again. And then we get three last shots. We get those red jumpsuit guys firing up their personal energy shields. And then two new shots, one of them with another Twi'lek showing up at Jabba's palace and bowing very deferentially, presumably, to Boba and Fennec. And then a shot that is very reminiscent of Return of the Jedi. It is shot from underneath the floor grating, 
where the drop to the Rancor Pit is. And it looks like Jabba's throne is sliding up and forward like it did in the movie. And you see Boba and Fennec looking down through the grating. So that means that somebody has gone down through that trapdoor and they figured out how that worked. So just to wrap it up, there are nine new shots, entirely new shots, in this teaser for us. There's Boba sneaking up on Jabba's palace overlooking the garage. There's that Corellian ship flying over the city. There's the nine speeders flying through the desert. There's the guys that were on the speeders, a couple of them harassing two people randomly. There's the shot of Boba Fett in his white jumpsuit all torn up and coming in out from the sandstorms probably or something like that. We've got the speeder chase through the town. We've got the Fennec Shand moment where she's pulling the knife out of her rifle and throwing it very deftly. We've got the Twi'lek bowing in the throne room and that final shot of Fennec and Boba looking down through the Sarlacc pit grate. Oh, excuse me, the Rancor pit grate. And so there you go. That is the full round and down of what's new and what's extended in The Return, which is the latest clip from the Book of Boba Fett, and that is going to do it for this episode of the show. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it, as always. And may the Force be with you, wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars-related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, other respective trademark and copyright holders. May the Force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.